ahead. Spencer, how would you say you would grade your own performance? How did you feel like you did overall in the second start? Got to be better. You know, plain and simple, got to be better. Um, you know, felt like we had some good things going at certain times, but just couldn't catch a rhythm. You know, starts with myself, got to be better. And then, and then the group will follow, you know, so I got to set that standard and, and be better. Did you find that you found sort of the same challenges this week than last week, or was it something different that kind of kept you from getting that rhythm today? Um, I mean, we can't put my hand on it right now. We'll watch the tape, see what we could have done better, but, you know, just coming on the sideline, looking at the iPad. You know, we had had some stuff there. We just we all got to be on the same page, have the same focus, and uh, that starts with me. So you know, as a leader, I gotta you know be better in that area. It's a common thing a lot of times when you that first sack where there was the free blitzer off mm -hmm. your, your blind side it becomes kind of this common thing where people say, oh, "Well, the, somebody should have seen that coming, mm -hmm. diagnosed that." What's the what's the actual process of that? Like, what happens to create a situation like that? You know, they had a better better play call than we did. Plain and simple, you know, they, they executed and, uh, you know, split second, that ball's out to Juwan and it's a big place, but, but you know, got to get it out faster. Did you say the pressure overall was a problem tonight? They have a really good front, really good defense, good scheme. You know, we move the ball at times, you know, but it's a good front. You know, they, they, they're talented. Have you been, I'm sorry, have you been through a stretch at any level of playing football that feels as disappointing as the last few weeks here? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, you're going to go through tough times. And, you know, we got great leaders on our team. You know, DeMario just talked to us and, you know, he said this storm will pass. You know, we got to all stick together and um, just keep finding ways to improve. You know, um, doesn't feel great right now, but, um, you know, if we keep uh, – just stacking days and get some guys back healthy, we'll be all right. You're confident that you guys can fall out of this? You have to be. Spencer, what do you learn you know, in the two games? Yeah, um, just to not quit. I mean, keep going, uh, keep battling. I know that's, you know, said a lot, but it's real. You know, you don't want to just give it up, you know, at – half or third quarter, fourth quarter, no matter what's going on. You got to keep keep swinging, keep punching, keep believing in your guys. Um, but you know, just got to be better. Spencer, how much, I guess, grace do you give yourself and the team considering all the injuries around y'all? No excuses for anybody, you know, starting with myself. Um, you know, I, I'm so hard on myself, want myself to play at a high level at all times, no matter what the circumstances is, um, but, you know. Do have a lot of injuries, but you know it's next man up mentality. We know that uh, we'll get guys back healthy, and you know we'll, we'll keep getting better. Have you identified specifics in your game that you want to work on in this little mini buy? Yeah, um, you know, again, I'm going to watch the tape, see what happened today. Um, but you know, I just think, you know, I felt like I was seeing things well today. You know, felt pretty comfortable back there. You know, we just, we all got to be on the same page. And that starts with me. That starts with me. You know, if I got to use my legs more or get it out quicker, get us in some different checks, I, I have to. So I can get better at that. Spencer, there was a weird moment at the end of the first half where a timeout was called and then you guys kneeled. What kind of went on there? Um, you know, we just did what was called. You know, we, we took two throws, you know, I think I checked them both down to AK and we took a knee and I think there was only 16 seconds left. We had two timeouts, had to go, you know, 50 yards or so, 40 yards or so. Um, so, you know, they're going to drop coverage and try to force you to check it down. And that's what, that's what we did, got onto the half. Do you know where the timeout came from, like who called the timeout? Um, mm. um, Dia mentioned something about uh, a hip pointer or something like that that happened to you at some point during the game. Yeah, you know, a little fourth quarter, um, you know, landed on it weird. I think maybe some maybe somebody hit it, landed on it funny, just got up and a little tight. You know, it's one of the only spots I don't have a pad on, but uh, should be okay. Spencer, did you get to meet Drew Brees? Did he talk to you and then stay here? And uh, also, <clears throat> you share with us what it was like for yourself, what you've been playing. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously one of the best of all time. Um, it's pretty cool to spend a little moment with him pregame. You know, obviously such a big deal. He got introduced into the 
you know, Saints Hall of Fame today. Um, you know, so obviously, congrats to him. He's one of the goats, and uh, it was cool to be, you know, on the sideline with him for a minute. You know, and he, he had some good advice for me. Because we saw something we don't often see today with Saints fans leaving a game mm -hmm. a little early. What's kind of what would kind of be your message of why like belief should still be held in, in terms of where this team is right now? Yeah, you know, um, obviously we want to put out a better product. You know, we got to be better. Um, so it starts with us. Um, but you know, having great support um, always helps. And usually, <laughs> from what I've seen, Saints fans are great every game. So you know, we got to play better and uh, keep them there. All right, guys. Thanks, yep. Thanks.